high gas prices. We know they have them. We have them right now. Some families are maybe skipping weekend road trips for now. Oh yeah, we're staycationing all over the place. Yeah. Lucky, lucky for us, there's plenty to see, do, and eat here in the Twin Cities area. For sure. Kendall Mark is joining us on Good Day, helping us plan maybe the weekend or a getaway. Great suggestion to a local suburb. Hello, Kendall. Hi. Good morning to all of you. Yes, I know. For me, at least personally, sometimes it's a little intimidating to get all the way out for a weekend trip. A lot of planning, a lot of money involved, and how you get everybody else to like what you're planning to do. So a day trip, that's easy, that's accessible. And our first stop is in one of my favorite places right here in the heart of the Twin Cities. If you enjoy historic walking tours, shopping in a vibrant downtown district, a busy art scene, and maybe a giant raspberry or two, downtown Hopkins is the place for you. Once known as the raspberry capital of the world, Hopkins is bustling with a different kind of activity these days. Main Street was recently added to the National Register of Historic Places. That's where you'll find a little something for everyone. An eclectic clock shop, a popular vintage record store, antiques and art installations that double as great selfie spots, plus plenty of places to grab a bite or a brew. Our first stop is part wine bar, part wine shop. The Vine Room specializes in small to mid-sized wineries and wines made from sustainable farming and production methods around the world. So we uh, focus on California wine, uh, hence the Golden Coast Flight that is our specialty. So every season we launch a whole new wine menu focusing on the flight since that is what people's uh, favorite is when they come in and uh, can get a good taste of the lineup. Plus, the Vine Room has a cause of the month they donate a portion of their proceeds to. Next up, we're experiencing a bit of the city's art scene at Mess Hall. Sam, this space is absolutely gorgeous, and you're messing it up, but in the best way. Yes, you can use your hands to paint whatever you want. It is supposed to get messy here. I love this, and it's for anyone. I see, obviously, we've got the little tots, we've got like the teens, but I could do this too, yeah? Exactly, so we have adult classes where you can pour paint, do splatter painting, and then also pendulum swings where there's a hole in the cup, and you chuck the cup, and it creates a symmetrical, really cool design. Finally, it's time to grab a bite at Pub 819. The restaurant is known for their unique burgers and bowls, local goodies like Ellsworth Cheats Curds, and their patio. Yes, a patio for pups with a dog-friendly menu. We're headed to the kitchen with Chef Jesse to get the scoop on one of their most popular items. You're making which burger for me? I am making your burger, you with the Pub 819 Old Fashioned Burger. And what makes this one so special? Um, it uses our signature bourbon cherries, as well as our spicy pepper jam, and a brie cheese with uh, thick cut bacon. Ooh, okay, if I'm gonna throw a side with that, like, in your opinion, what's the best sauce or side to go with that burger? Honestly, a burger and fries, classic combination, can't go wrong with it. I'm also going to get some tachos because no big deal. I may have been here once or twice. Get those too. Along with great food, the popular gastro pub also has 32 beers on tap and over 90 types of whiskey. A few of their craft cocktails don't just use any old bottle. Tell me what is so popular about this cocktail. This is our number one selling drink here. This is our signature crafting crew, old fashioned. Definitely special to us because we actually go down there and hand select the bottle of Knob Creek we use for it. This looks like a great way to end this segment. Enjoy your time in downtown Hopkins, everyone. I will. Are those the nachos? Mm, yeah, the tachos. Uh, oh, so good. Uh, <laughs> so good. So jealous. Right here. <laughs> those were awesome spots. We yes. go to Hopkins a lot, um, family wise, Stages Theater. Kitty Wampus mm -hmm. and Amy's Cupcake Shop. Mm -hmm. That's our that's our little circle that we do. And everything is so walkable there, yep. which mm -hmm. was really great. All three of those places. Eric, our photographer, who's fantastic, and I just walked block to block. It mm -hmm. was it was awesome. And I think Mess Hall was really great. We saw the kids uh, there, but I wanted to mention they also do adult classes and things too. They've got cool. a summer camp. So I, I mean, between that mm -hmm. and the wine and the food, 
Yeah, and it's more in the metro area. area. It's so close. Right. I mean, think about it. I mean, for, so unless you're shopping. outside of the metro area, but this mm -hmm. is just oh my really gosh, it's so easy to get to. Is. Yeah, and I like this idea. I mean, to your point, kind mm -hmm. of a weekend road trip. As much as that is fun, it is a little bit daunting to to plan it, figure out what right. are we going to do, how much right. is this going to be. Sometimes those weekend road trips, you're like. Well, this is more expensive than what I would have done, you yeah. know. So right. I like kind of the day trip idea mm -hmm. of let's do this in a day. Yes. Nothing crazy. Yeah, we're hope I mean yeah. everything hopefully within about an hour of the heart of the metro. Make it easy. Yeah. You know, no big Love deal. it. Where are you up next? And the Raspberry okay, Hoping? and the Raspberry Festival. Just oh wanna, yeah, like, the so Raspberry Festival. That's a big so deal cool. there too. And it's, so these are mm -hmm. ideas, you know, because everybody goes to Raspberry. I mean it gets mm -hmm. very crowded. Yes. But if you maybe are not for that many people, yeah. that would be a good place mm -hmm. to Oh, absolutely. And that leads perfectly into the next space. I'm hoping we're still finalizing okay. things, but we're heading over to Cannon Falls. I love, I grew up in Red Wing, so very close to Cannon Falls. I love going there, and if you are looking for something this weekend, they actually have a really fantastic 4th of July celebration, oh, hmm, giant parade, perfect. and they have a big old festival that you can go to, too. So, nice. cool. Idea. Okay.